Right guys, super quick show of the other devices I have in my collection because obviously I could only show you the bits that aren't being used but these are all the bits that are being used it's not turned on, my system's turned on there's a lot of stuff about so it's going to be quite difficult but I'm trying my best so, Synchro which is, and the Sigma which are both hooked up through these cables and uh, where are the keys? so obviously so this is the what I was talking about. This is a conventional KAC with an LED, which does light up, obviously. Cause this is what it's meant to do. Relays. Um, no relays here because this, when it creates an alarm, when there's an alarm condition in this panel, it creates an alarm condition in this panel, and it goes alert on that panel. Um, there's no sound that's connected to this, so I didn't see the point in connecting them both because it just creates a horrible buzzer when that one activates and activates that one quite often. So. It's not connected. Um, so, sound of one, what's that for? Oh, that's so inside the yeah, zone four, which is the call point. So, I. So, that black wire for the sounder just goes to nothing because that was there for originally for the Moshni but it's now connected to the synchro um, the battery is obviously out so broken um, <coughs> so those are the panels and the conventional device um, Apollo intelligent call point SC95 um, Moshni sounder which is also a cramped over here um, this is a beacon, it's not a, a, it's an open area beacon, it's not a sounder. It does have a way to set the sounder and the address obviously, but obviously no sounder in it unfortunately. But don't really need it. Um, heat detector with a normal base. Sounder beacon base, uh, SP95 with an optical, optical on a normal base. Um, Multi sensor on a beacon base. Beacon bases are actually quite rare. Uh, they usually sound the beacon bases. The SV95 sounder with a uh, optic. Obviously the Cranford over there. There's no other devices over that way. It's all loop one, and then loop two is the other side of the shed, which is the pain in the ass bit to get to. Can't move these boxes too much, but another intelligent. I'm quite proud of that wiring. Um, optic on a normal base and an optic on a sound beaker base. Uh, that's everything over right here. So those are the devices that are hooked up. Uh, that's it.